Welcome to AccuWeb Hosting Video Tutorial. In the last video session, we added a remote access role from the server manager. In this video session, we will allow RDP port in the NAT services and ports. Before we begin, take a look at AccuWebHosting.com to review various hosting services offered by us. You can contact us through chat, phone, or send us an email at sales at AccuWebHosting.com. Let's continue the video. Go to the Routing and Remote Access option located on the upper left side of the window. Routing and Remote Access. Click on the arrow sign to expand the server. Go to the IPv4 option and click on the arrow sign to expand it. After then select the NAT option and click on it. Once you click on it, NAT window will be opened. In this window, you will see all the interfaces which are active on your server. Select the active network interface. You can identify it by the value of inbound packets translated. If the inbound packets translated has some value then it means that it is an active network interface. Here, we have selected Ethernet as active interface because its inbound packets translated has a value. Right-click on the active network interface. Select the Properties option from the menu and click on it. Once you click on it, one window will be opened with the name Ethernet Properties. Select the Services and Ports option and click on it. Here, you have to add a service on your network to which you want to redirect the Internet users. It will create NAT port redirection rules. To add a new service, click on the Add button. By clicking on it, one new window will be opened with the name Add Service. In the Description of Service field, you have to enter the full name of the service. Here, we have entered RDP service because we want to allow the internet user to log in into it. In the incoming port field, enter the port number which you have allowed in your Windows firewall. Here, we have entered the RDP port number because we are using a non-standard port to prevent brute force attack on our VPS. In the private address field, Enter the IP address of your Windows VPS. Here, we have entered this IP address as an example. In the outgoing port field, enter the port number which you have allowed in your Windows firewall. Here, we have entered the RDP port number. Click on the OK button to save it. Click on the Apply button to apply the changes. After then click on the OK button to close the window. Important note. First one is if the RDP service is not added then you will not be able to access your server via RDP. Second one is if you have a firewall installed on your server, you will need to allow 1723 TCP port for PPTP. Let's quickly sum up the context of this video. We saw how to allow RDP port in the NAT services and ports. Hope this video will be helpful for you. If you like our technical videos, please press the subscribe button and bell icon to receive instant notification of our new videos. Each like is important to us so do not forget to symbol us. To download a PDF file of this video, please subscribe to our Telegram channel.
AccuWeb Hosting, where you will have the access of PDF files of all our videos. Thank you for watching.